Margarita. I'm here in the beautiful country of Costa Rica. When most people travel, they concentrate on relaxation and being stress-free. They like to have all positive thoughts. Not me. When I travel, I focus on disease. I like to know the infection that I'm out here that I may be exposed to. Me gustaría comprender todas las infecciones que están en cada país. Here in Costa Rica, there are diseases that can be transmitted by mosquitoes. Keep watching. show up uninvited to every barbecue, every soccer game. Well, as it turns out, there are myriads of mosquitoes right here in Costa Rica and in other popular travel areas as well, such as Brazil, Panama, the Caribbean islands, the Virgin Islands. Most of us are just annoyed by mosquito bites. We're annoyed because the proteins in the saliva of mosquitoes causes a local inflammatory reaction, which causes a redness, a swelling, and an insufferable itching. However, mosquitoes can also carry diseases. The diseases here in Costa Rica carried by mosquitoes are many, but today I'm going to discuss just a couple of the diseases. Zika virus and dengue fever. Zika virus. Ever since May 2015, there has been a Zika virus outbreak. Places have been affected such as Florida, Texas, Brazil, Central and South America, and other places as well. Zika virus is a disease that's transmitted from mosquitoes. It can cause symptoms such as fever, rash, joint pain, red eyes, headaches, or it can cause no symptoms at all initially. Zika virus not only is transmitted by mosquitoes, but it can also be transmitted sexually and transmitted in blood products. For example, in a blood transfusion, if a person who's donating blood has the Zika virus. Zika virus can cause particular problems in pregnant women. It can cause the unborn precious baby to develop microcephaly, which means the child has a very small head and small brain, and the child can have hearing problems and other developmental issues. There is no vaccine for the Zika virus at this time, and there is no specific treatment for the Zika virus. There is, however, a blood test for the Zika virus. If you have traveled to a place where Zika virus is prevalent, or if you have any symptoms or feel that you are at risk, it is important that you see your physician, especially if you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant. Dengue fever. Dengue fever is another virus that can be transmitted by mosquitoes. If you are bitten by a mosquito and given dengue fever, the symptoms will usually show up anywhere between four days to two weeks, and the symptoms usually last for about five to seven days. The symptoms include fever, severe headache, severe joint pain. You can also get bleeding gums, bleeding nose, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. And if you have severe symptoms, you can actually vomit blood or have seizures. People who are at risk for getting severe symptoms from dengue fever include babies, elderly patients, pregnant women, obese patients, patients with diabetes and other chronic medical illnesses such as kidney failure. There is no specific treatment for dengue fever, just treatment for the various symptoms. Many people with dengue fever actually do have to be hospitalized. There are other diseases that can also be transmitted from mosquitoes, including malaria, West Nile virus, chikungunya. How do you prevent contracting mosquito illnesses? Don't get bitten by mosquitoes. Make sure that you wear insect repellent or that you like candles which repel insects or wear coiled bracelets that have citronella to repel insects. Try to avoid being where you know mosquitoes are, like in the deep woods or near standing water. And try to avoid being out during the very early morning or early evening. And wear long sleeves or long pants when you know you're going to be around mosquitoes. 
though there are no specific treatments for mosquito borne illnesses I discussed, the virus, the negative air, if you have traveled to areas that have these viruses, or if you suspect that you may have contracted the viruses, it is very important that you see your physician, especially if you are pregnant or elderly or if you have a chronic illness. This ends my overview of mosquito borne illnesses. So as you travel to Florida, the islands, and to other tropical paradises, make sure that you protect yourself from mosquito bites. And if you feel like you are at risk for any of these diseases, please consult your physician. Please like my video, please share my video, please subscribe to my page. As always, strive to live your healthiest, happiest life. Me llamo Dr. Rita.